All right, so in this overview, uh, we're going to do a quick review of the new Microsoft Editor app. Uh, I have it installed in my browser. You can see it right up here. Now, this isn't a detailed overview in terms of every single aspect um, of that feature or of the features in there, but I'll show you how I use it with my e-learning tools. Uh, so first thing is you just install it. I'm using it in Chrome right now. I've also tried it in the new Microsoft Edge browser, which I think is a really good browser. I actually am torn between should I use that or should I use Chrome. I really like the new Edge browser, so if you haven't tried that out. Um, once you install it here, you can see it's installed. Uh, when I click on that, uh, you can see the options. Now, you don't need to sign in. If you have an account and you sign in, uh, you're going to get more features, and they're using an AI system. Uh, to, to, to make a lot of the corrections and uh, to make it a smarter uh, tool for you. Uh, but you can see it's going to check your spelling, uh, your grammar, and then you have these refinements. If you mouse over, it's going to tell you uh, what that is. If we go into settings, you can see the settings available to you. Again, you've got the exact same things here. And then um, you can uh, show synonyms. And then uh, here, what's really nice about it is you've got, I think, 20 languages that you can work on, so you can uh, work on those languages. The other thing that I really like about it is right here you can see that you have this option to um, exclude sites. For example, I do a lot of work in Google Docs. Google Docs has its own uh, grammar feature, so I usually uh, disable the Microsoft Editor in there. Uh, the other thing is sometimes on my blog, I, I don't want all the editing stuff in there or slow it down or something like that. I haven't had it slow down, but I usually turn those things off. So you can exclude sites that you don't want on there, or maybe there's company sites you just don't want uh, being used as well. So that's that. That's your settings. So let's go ahead. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to jump into how I use it, and this is really great since I'm in the e-learning world. Uh, I use Articulate 360's Rise 360, which is an online e-learning authoring tool. If you haven't used it before, you've got you can see I've got all these different courses in here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new course and show you how this works as you're building out the content in your e-learning courses. So I'm going to create a new course. I'm going to just choose one blank course here, and then uh, let's go ahead and add a course title. We'll say you know new title uh, right here. And then I can put some placeholder text in here. We'll just do that. So I've got some placeholder text. Now I'm going to create a lesson. So it's just a matter of typing in lesson. Let's make my lesson one. Hit enter. I'm going to add some content to my lesson. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this placeholder text block. And you're going to see um, already I get this little blue line here, blue or purple, I can't tell. But uh, when I mouse over there, it's going to tell me, okay, that's a writing refinement, so that was one of the options. And when I click on that, it's going to give me um, a reason and then what I could do in here. And again, you don't have to take these, but I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to take that. That looks good. Let's go ahead and get a typo in here. So I'm going to say Tuesday, or well, let's do this on Tuesday. And let me misspell Tuesday. I am going to the doctor. All right. So I hit enter. And then you can see um, I'm getting this different color here. And this is um, a misspelling, obviously. So when I click on that, you can see it's giving me some options. So I'm going to click on that. And then uh, once I click away, sometimes it'll actually give you a refinement. Then it might recognize, hey, on Tuesday could be a comma. Uh, so you'd see that. But that's basically it. So as you're working in here, uh, it's going to pick up your typos. It's going to give you some grammatical um, options. And then it also has that refinement. And then the system gets smarter. And again, if you're, uh, if you're using the free app, it's going to be a little bit different than if you have a Microsoft account and use the logged in version of that. But if you're doing e-learning, if you're using Rise 360, it's a plugin I would use. There's other good... Uh, grammar, spell checker plugins. What I like about this over some of the other ones, I won't mention the names of the other ones because I don't want to diss them, but what I like about this so far is it's pretty lightweight, so I haven't found that it's bogging down the system. Uh, one of the other really popular ones always seems to have this spinning icon and it says follows me through the page and a lot of times it kind of intrudes or overlays on top of what I'm trying to do. 
and so it's, it's it became more frustrating to use than it than the value that it was providing so i disabled that so um so far i've been testing this about a week i really like this app it seems to be working really fine works great for uh, my online authoring tools so hopefully it's something that uh, you find some value in as well